Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. Today's story, The Water That Caught on Fire, was donated to Zion by Bernice Halverson. This book is based on 1 Kings chapter 17 and 18. It was written by Joanne Sheck and illustrated by Bob Fannier. A long time ago, King Ahab was wed to the wife who was wicked. One day the queen said, Why do we worship a god we can't see? Just think how exciting a stone god would be. So the king built a temple to please his new bride, and they knelt down to Baal at an altar inside. Elijah, God's prophet, then came to the king. Get rid of this temple. Get rid of this thing. He's not the true God, this one you call Baal. Come worship the Lord. He'll show you he's real. For three years, he'll hold back the rain from the sky. The clouds will be empty. The plants will all die. And just as he promised, God stopped all the rain till the fields full of wheat and the fields full of grain and the fruit on the trees and the plants on the ground, everything dried up for miles all around. But God told Elijah to go to a spring. There he could drink water and hide from the king. Birds brought him bread and birds brought him meat. For three years, Elijah had plenty to eat. The prophet came back then to Ahab once more, who still had his bail and prayed as before. O oh, Ahab, Elijah cried out to the king, God kept back the ring. He can do anything. But since you insist your god Baal is so strong, Come up to Mount Carmel, I'll show you you're wrong. From all over the kingdom the people were called, Come up to Mount Carmel next week, they were told. They climbed up the hill very early one day. The king and his hundreds of priests led the way. At the top stood Elijah. He called priests of Baal, We'll see who is fake and we'll see who is real. We'll each build an altar on top of this hill. Can your Baal burn it? I know my God will. Baal's 450 priests brought stacks of wood to build an altar as fast as they could. They danced around it and started to pray to Baal to send down some fire right away. Though they prayed the whole morning, the wood was still there when the priests looked around at the end of their prayer. Elijah called out to the priests, Look, it's noon. Don't you think your old Baal should answer you soon? Pray louder and louder, for maybe he's talking, or maybe he's sleeping, or maybe he's out walking. The priests prayed and shouted and danced and they hopped by evening they were all so tired they dropped elijah stood up and said now it's my turn but no wood is too easy for god to burn for his altar he piled 12 big stones on the ground and dug a trench in a circle around Oh, wait, said Elijah, we're not ready yet. It still is too easy. The wood must be wet. Fill four jars with water and wet down the wood. They made the whole altar as wet as they could. Elijah just smiled and said to the men, Fill more jars with water, and then do it again. Three times they brought water. Three times they did pour. They poured it and poured it and poured it some more. It splashed off the altar and sloshed on the ground. It filled up the trench like a river around. And now, said Elijah, O Lord, I do pray, 
please burn up this altar with fire right away. Then suddenly out of the sky roared a flame that disappeared quickly as fast as it came. It burned up the wood and the stones in the gust. It dried up the water and licked up the dust. The people were quiet. No one made a sound. They fell on their faces and knelt on the ground. From now on, they promised, we'll worship and praise the Lord God of heaven for the rest of our days. As the people went back to their homes late that day, Elijah stayed high on the hilltop to pray while he knelt on the ground with his head in his, on his knees a little white cloud rose up off the seas. So after three years, God at last sent rain to the fields full of wheat and the fields full of grain, the fruit, trees on, the fruit on the trees and the plants on the ground. Everything grew in the land all around. We worship a God who is very powerful. He creates the universe. He has given life. He has done all amazing things. He can even send fire to burn up rocks and wood. God is good. God loves you very much. God wants us to know that he will bring his power to save us, to bring his love. He sent the most powerful thing he had. He sent his son, Jesus, to suffer and die and rise again so that we don't ever have to be afraid. He is always with us. He loves us. May God bless you and your family today.